Le moje da ti mali. Ka? Ma pošiš, mi smo malo ma pošiš. Today for something completely different. Right, so this is the plan. We're walking up to a village. We, Chetan and I. Chetan is a friend from England. I only video. We're walking up to a village, up a mountain. We don't know what's in this village, we just saw a point on a map. We're gonna try and find a donkey. We're gonna try and find some food. And we're gonna try and go with a donkey over the mountains towards some little lakes that we've seen that might or might not be there. The map said they were there. Yeah. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> plan B? Do we have a plan B? Mesman. Mesman. <laughs> <laughs> We managed to get a lift here to the middle of nowhere. Tiny little village called Mismal. Somewhere in the east of the country. It was chosen more or less by pointing on a map. Here we are, the, the road to get here was a dirt track for the last 20 kilometers. Oh yeah, easy if you a couple of hours. And here is more or less the end of the road. Let's go explore. explore. Hey! <laughs> Right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to Albania. To Mesmal. He said it right, welcome <laughs> to Mesmal. Um, we're looking to find the donkey or a mule. He's a beauty. I think the donkey's taking Tumba for a ride. friend I was getting a donkey to go hiking in the hills and his response was don't get a donkey get a mule they're the Mercedes of donkeys that's the most Albanian thing I've ever heard <laughs>
We've arrived at the promised land. There's seven, seven little lakes dotted around the countryside. Wait, there's a horse going. Come here. Nika. Right. Let's see what happens when you walk towards it. <laughs> As you do with animals. Larger animals than you. Come here. It's all good. It's all good. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's all good. No problem. Uh, it doesn't like. Come here. It's all good. 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 So this is the lake. There is the horse that is following us. fighting form. So it turns out that mules are not the most nimble creatures in the world. And right now we have to get down this valley. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Because she's slipping everywhere. This is why you should take a biologist on your trips with you. He's very excited. He's just found a carnivorous plant that is pretty rare and is only found in Albania or this region here. There's a bunch of pinguicillas in Albania, about four or five. The really rare one is near Tirana, so this might, this might, you might also find this in the north. There we go. It's got insects stuck to it. It's carnivorous, which you wouldn't tell, like a nice pretty flower. Mean, mean intentions. Yesterday evening was awesome. We were getting horribly lost and at one point we saw a load of sheep up on the side of the mountain and there was there was a couple of shepherds there. So we went up to them and tried to ask them about the direction to go and we ended up getting invited to a little mountain shack.
this, is, this is my uncle. Okay. And I help him. Yes. Did you see the difference? Which is what? Uh, uh, Tabernacle. Uh, yeah. From uh, June to November. delicious. Mm -hmm. That's outrageously delicious. Mm. 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 Good. Mm. <laughs> Um, fantastic oregano mackerel couscous with a fresh green pepper and cheese salad. Delicious. I think so, yeah. Delicious. This is the restaurant. <laughs> Kitchen's over there. The uh, restaurant mascot. Chef is hard at work chopping peppers. My job was starting the fire. My job is done. So meanwhile, I uh, enjoy this. We need one person behind her at all times so that if she slows down, he can give her a little encouragement with a gentle whip. Hop! 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 She's learning. I'm gonna stop this here. The thing is, I could keep on showing you pretty pictures of landscapes and tell you more stories about walking in the mountains with donkey and show you on the map the path that we took over the five days, but I think that's missing the point. We chose this village more or less at random. The only criteria was that it looked remote. We made the massive assumption that we would find a donkey. Within 20 minutes of being in the village, we already had different options of donkeys. And actually the donkey that we got wasn't even a donkey, it was a mule. The Mercedes of donkeys, as any good Albanian will tell you. So I think the point is this. Where else in Europe can you rock up to an arbitrarily chosen place just by pointing your finger on a map at something that looks remote? 
rock up. Convince the locals to give you a donkey for five days for very little money based purely on trust. I think we paid the equivalent of less than 15 euros a day and that was without haggling. That was just, that was our offer. Where else can you go wandering in the mountains, barely seeing a living soul? And when you do see a living soul, it's shepherds that invite you to their huts and feed you bread and cheese and fresh milk. I really mean it when I say Albania is an awesome, awesome country. I don't think it's going to stay as it is now for very long. It's already changing quickly. If you want an easy, quick, unplanned adventure, you should, you should come to Albania and then just point on a map.